Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another recipe video, and this is a two for one. We're gonna be making bacon wrapped cheese sticks and pizza roll ups, the best snacking options so good i've been teasing y'all on instagram and my facebook group with this and it's finally here and you can finally make it for the weekend let's get it work it make it do it makes us honor better faster stronger we're going to start off with the bacon wrapped cheese sticks you're going to need some mozzarella cheese sticks doesn't matter which kind some avocado oil because i tried the method for cooking this several times we'll talk about later and some bacon so simple so easy minimal ingredients but so delicious so i'm gonna take my avocado oil put it in a cast iron skillet and just coat it to where there is no gap so i just want to make sure that there's enough oil to coat the pan and to be able to cover the cheese sticks when i put them in there so i don't have an exact measurement i just eyeballed it as you saw there and just poured it on in. Now I'm taking my cheese sticks. Make sure they're frozen. They have to be frozen. Key here. And take one piece of bacon and wrap it around like a little mummy and close the ends because you don't want any of that cheese to seep out as much as possible. Then I'm going to put it in my cast iron. I have my oil heated up here and I'm going to fry each side so it gets nice and crisp with the bacon. So again, I don't have a time measurement. I just like to eyeball, especially when frying um, different types of foods. So this is the other side. I got it fried up. I got my little screen splatter there to help from preventing all the oil from getting all over the place. And I'm just gonna keep moving this around. Now at this point, you wanna take them out because y'all see how the cheese is starting to come out a little bit. You don't want it to come out all the way. And also you see I have these on a paper towel. Do not put them on a paper towel because it's going to stick to the paper towel. That's another thing I learned when doing this a couple of times. You just wanna put them straight on the plate. Now we're gonna go in with our pizza roll-ups. So with this, you just need some sliced mozzarella cheese. I'm just using the kind pre-packaged. You can put some pepperoni. I'm going in with Genoa, salami, any type of pepperoni toppings you want put in there. I'm gonna be using the Rayo's homemade marinara sauce for mine, but again, any low carb marinara sauce will work fine or pizza sauce. And I'm also using this Flavor God pizza seasoning. Highly recommend, I'll have them linked down below. You're gonna need some parchment paper, not wax. Do not use wax, parchment. And just lay your mozzarella cheese slices on your parchment. And then I'm gonna go in with my Pizza God seasoning, but you could put Italian seasoning here, guys. Whatever seasonings you want, go ahead and put it on your cheese at this point. We're gonna put these in the oven for 400 degrees for about five to six minutes, and that is it. This is like the easiest foolproof thing ever. So when they come out, they look nice and melted and a little bit toasty on the ends. These are the right consistency you want. I'm gonna take my Genoa salami and I'm gonna put them on each slice of cheese and also top it with my Rayo's marinara sauce and any other toppings you want, guys, throw them in at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle a little bit more of that pizza uh, topping on there from Flavor God, and also some parsley. You could do Italian seasoning. Again, whatever you want to put in here, make it your own. You can even do this with some more cheese and make these like a grilled cheese roll-ups if you want, if you don't wanna go the pizza route. But we really enjoyed this pizza route because we used some marinara sauce on the side for dunking. So this was a nice little keto snack plate along with the bacon wrapped cheese. So good, and I had this three or four nights in a row last week. That's how much we loved it. So here's the final product. You've got the bacon that's nice and crispy. That cheese inside is ooey gooey melty like you want for a cheese stick. Those pizza roll-ups are great. Dunk it in some of that marinara sauce. And this is gonna feel like you are cheating on keto. So good, so delicious. Now, as far as methods go for doing the bacon wrapped cheese, I highly recommend y'all fry it because I did test this out in the air fryer a couple couple of times and to get the bacon nice and crispy you have to cook the bacon longer in the air fryer hence the cheese melts all the way out and it's a hot mess it's a delicious hot mess but a hot mess so if you want the cheese to stay within the bacon I have found that the frying method works the best so I just wanted to give y'all a little tip there that you need to fry versus air fry you can also put these in the oven too. I haven't tried that way, but I just found that frying has been the best method to work for us. 
So that's it guys, that's the pizza roll ups and that's the bacon wrapped cheese sticks y'all have been waiting so long for. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did and if you plan on making this, please give it a huge thumbs up. Share it with someone who needs a little bit of keto snacking in their life, something to indulge in on this weekend. Give it a nice share. And if you're not subscribed, I'd love to have you a part of the family. So make sure to hit all the bells and whistles down below so you're notified every time I upload a new recipe video. I've got lots of things coming, so you don't want to miss it. Y'all have an amazing Friday and an awesome weekend. If you make this, don't forget to tag me over on Instagram so I know you've made it and I can reshare. Love you guys so much, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, y'all.